Spoilers! Okay. If you see in the still that I'm wearing this shirt, and you haven't watched whatever it is is in the topic of this video, don't watch it. And then don't say in the comments, Oh, didn't even finish watching it, you totally spoiled it for me. She's literally wearing the warning. But we just finished watching Stranger Things on Netflix, because everybody's talking about it. So what are we talking about this week, Adriana? Um, we're talking about things that are stranger than Stranger Things in Stranger Things. So, okay, the number one thing that is stranger than Stranger Things in Stranger Things is um, the lack of gay characters. It is strange. You think there's at least ten characters. One of them would be gay. I think at least one. I think Will is gay. <laughs> but he's, a, he's just a little baby child, so he probably just doesn't know yet. Because Will's the best looking out of those four boys. He's talented at art. He's right. the smartest. Mm -hmm. Why else is he hanging out with those other boys? We don't know. <laughs> All ingredients. To, for gayness. Yeah. And, you know, he was the chosen one by that monster, so. Let's also get on the topic of Barb. <laughs> that haircut. Them glasses. Oh my god, Barb is Come on, Barb. flaming. We know why you're waiting by the pool for Nancy. We know why you're so upset that Nancy has a boyfriend. It's because you're gay, Barb. We've all been there. Barb has fallen for her straight best friend. Yeah. It's typical. Yeah. It's classic Textbook. lesbianism 101. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I the think... The upside down? The upside down is uh, the metaphorical closet. Let them stay in there. <laughs> they're, obviously, they're much happier in that terrifying place. <laughs> and do you see the, 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 the straight people go in it? And all the straight people are just terrified. Will was, Will was cool. He made like a house. Yeah. He decorated it. Straight people go in and they're like, fucking gas masks. They're like, what is this world? Also, if you, like, you know, Nancy dibbled in it a little bit. She went in. Dibbled? She's just like, I want to see what's going it's on not even this. dabbled. It's dibbled. Dibbled is tinier like, than dabbled. Then it, yes. But yeah, Nancy went in for a little bit because she was she had to find her future love. Right, she Barb. left Jonathan. Yeah, she really like used Jonathan to find Barb. Because like, let's be real, in no world would Nancy like Steve. He's such a doof. This I had a, a doof. You had another dibble. Another <laughs> dibble. Mm -hmm. Also, do you know what else is stranger than Stranger Things and Stranger Things? What, Adriana? That, uh, Nancy didn't care that Jonathan just took pictures of her half-naked. Because once she saw that there was the monster in the photo of Barb, she just, all her focus was on getting Barb back. Yeah. And she didn't, was she really into it when she slept with Steve in the beginning? No, because she was think... thinking about Barb the whole time. Yeah, she knew Barb was out there. Or she's gone to a better place, probably can we, Miami. Can we count it, can we count it as a, as a gay death in a show? You know, sorry, I think one. we can. Yeah. I think we can. Another... We're really, like, nitpicky about that stuff. Yeah. Way to kill off Barb. Yeah. The only lesbian in Stranger Things. Eleven is probably also, like, non-binary or something, right? I would assume so. I don't know if she chose that haircut. She was really into that wig and that dress. Because she wants... She's, she's like, she likes flipping Ele between both. Eleven is the perfect, like, find yourself a girl who can do both. Eleven is by far, though. The best character in that show. Yeah. Do you know what else was Stranger in Stranger Things and Stranger Things? Um, how above and beyond a detective for sheriff went, like, for his job. I'd be like, your kid is missing and we're doing all we can. I'm not they, going into some fucking other world that has monsters. They found a body and I'd be like, That's him. Solved. Solved. <laughs> Case closed. Well, leave it to the Gay Women channel to pull out every type of gayness. Literally, it's like a, we're ringing out, we're just ringing it out. I can find gayness in, in everything. Anything. And if you guys follow us on Snapchat, you will have been seeing our brand new series, This is Taylor, which today's episode five, so you're not that far behind. There's like 32 episodes. What have they missed so far, Sarah? So, what have you missed? We've introduced Taylor. She's a university student. We've met her best friend and roommate, Kelsey. Taylor and Kelsey played Would You Rather at the park, and there was a really hot girl and a really hot guy, and Taylor... Would, thought she would rather sleep with the hot girl. So her and Kelsey downloaded the L word just as like some research, just to see like what was going on because Taylor mm -hmm. has never been with a girl. And last episode we met Madison, which is Taylor's classmate, who Sexy thinks results. she's a little bit pretty. And today she decides to deep creep Madison on Instagram. So now you're caught up. So it's a new episode every day on our Snapchat. 
Um, thumbs up for Badass Eleven. Cause oh yeah, she's the reason I kept watching the show. I would just I would just abuse that power though. I would be like Dem girls. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't use it for good. You yeah. would just use it for your own selfishness. Could you imagine you see a girl in a club and you're like making eyes and then you're like, Meow. Mm. I did that baby with my mind. <laughs> do you know what else I can do with my mind? Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. Make dinner for you while having sex. Oh, boom, <laughs> wasn't thinking that. <laughs> oh my God, imagine what you could do in bed with your mind. And leave a comment if you agree with, um, our gaydar. And if you agree that the upside down is just a giant metaphor for the closet. Not a great representation of it. Well, no, it's a great representation yeah, of the closet because yeah. it's awful in there. And some people don't get out of it. That's true. All right, thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday, and we'll see you guys next Monday. Bye. This week, we are filming in Los Angeles, if you're noticing, and like, where- If you wonder why it looks like I just got out of a pool, um, yeah. it's because it's a little hot in here. So there's no <laughs> AC, and we decided to sit under a, a wool blanket. blanket. <laughs> um, but this week, we're going to talk about lesbian turn-ons. Things that turn on lesbians, mm -hmm. and us, and everyone.